Hello everyone, my name is Mist, and welcome back to some more Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Last time we played as Gandorf, and today we'll be playing on Mewtwo's classic mode, Psychic Control. So, for this route, aside from the first round, Mewtwo will be allied with opponents fa found in previous rounds under the premise that its teammates or are under its mental control. And these teammates typically represent characters that have been brainwashed in their respective home series. So, first up we have Ness and Lucas on four side. Now, for this character, for this round, both Ness and Lucas use um P use PSI attacks. You and and the PSI attacks are actually similar to Mewtwo's psychic controls. Gosh, how did you survive? Well, that Pokemon's dead. And... Like I said, they're, they use psychic PSI attacks, which are similar to Mewtwo's psychic powers, as Mewtwo itself... And Mewtwo itself is also similar to Gygas and... Gygas, as he appears in Earthbound Beginnings. So, next up, we have... Cloud, and our teammate is Lucas. Oh yeah, I forgot. Track for the music... The music tracks are actually going to be tracks found in the home series of the previous round. So, as you can see, the track that's playing for this round is Snowman, because which is a song found in the Earthbound series. And... Which means that the next round will feature a song from the Final Fantasy series. Did I just give him a... Well, the rain is getting flooded. Ow! Alright, so basically for Lucas, his Lucas's costume is based on the Masked Man, which is a form his twin brother Klaus assumed upon being brainwashed by Porky Minch in Mother 3. So, up next we have Ryu and Ken from Suzuku Castle, and as you can see, Cloud is our CPU ally this time. I almost, for some reason, I thought I had jumped right off the stage. Where is... You! Okay. Also, as you can see, the music track is a song from the, from the Final Fantasy series. I'm pretty sure it's one of the battle themes. Oh, jeez! I'm... How did I survive that? I should not have survived that. No, Cloud, stay alive! Wait, why am I... Stop jumping! Okay, now... For that round, Cloud was... Our ally because he was briefly brainwashed by Sephiroth in Final Fantasy VII. And... These classic modes were made before Sephiroth was a DLC character, so... We had no way of... Having Ready? Sephiroth in these classic modes Go! at that time. Alright, now... Here we have Richter and Dracula's Castle. And as you can see, the <coughs> Vega stage theme from the Street Fighter series is being played for this round. I think they used Vega's theme because he's because he's one of the more sadistic people in the game in the in Street Fighter and he and we have Dracula's Castle as a stage. Bass for Ken being our CPU ally. Ken's costume is actually based on Violent Ken, which is a form he assumed upon being brainwashed by M. Bison in SNK vs. Capcom SVC Chaos and Ultra Street Fighter 2 The Final Challengers. You do not know what I had to go through to find out that information. So next up is Palutena and Pit and Skyworld, with Richter being our ally. I have never played Castlevania, so I don't know what Lamin of Innocence plays on. But... Judging from the fact that we're in Skyworld, this should not be should not be surprising. Die. Okay, this is perfect because Pit is actually the character that we are allied with in the next in the next round. All right, now for this round, Richter being the CPU ally is. You? How did he survive? 
No! Oh god! Oh my god! That... I should not have survived that. I'll be completely honest. I was not supposed to survive that. Oh, not again! What is it with me in these close calls? So for that one, Richter was our ally because Richter was brainwashed by Shaft in Castlevania Symphony of the Night. So. Next step we have. Pikachu, Pichu, Jigglypuff, and Lucario in the Kalos Pokemon League. Now, Pip being a CPU ally here wasn't that hard to know because anyone who has played Kid Icarus knows why Pit is our CPU ally. In fact, based on that game, it could have been both Palutena or Pit being our ally and working killed by everyone here. Oh god, I know what happens with on this part when Manaphy is on the stage. Well, we got Pichu at least. Pick it out of there. I'm not going in there. I do not want to get swallowed up by that whirlpool. Yes, Lucario, die. Pit, don't die in there. No. Oh, no. Okay, I'm still alive. Dang it. <sighs> you know, I didn't realize Jigglypuff was doing her up smash until the last second. So that really sucks. Especially the fact that I got killed by Jigglypuff of all people. I know she's one of the strongest N64 characters in the game, but still. I really wish we had... I, I forget what happens in this stage when Mewtwo is out. Oh my god. We got rid of Pikachu and Pichu. Oh, God. Oh, God. Continue. You know, I probably would have stayed alive had that not happened. But with Ho-Oh, it's really nothing we could have done about it. Now, as I was saying, why did we get rid of Pikachu and Pichu first when Jigglypuff and Lucario are the true threats? So, as for Pipping us. Ally Pit lost control of his body due to the Chaos Kin sealing his soul into a ring in Kid Icarus Uprising. <clears throat> so that was the reference there. S next up we have the bonus stage. This is probably the longest I've it has taken for me to get a bonus stage. But that's because <laughs> this route is so complicated. Just with all the references and everything. Holy crap, I did not realize how fast Mewtwo was. I knew Mewtwo was a pretty strong character, but I didn't realize he was fast. And this basically goes... Goes into perspective of what I said on, on the last video with Ganondorf's video. I said, can we have a strong character who's also fast? I never realized Mewtwo fit that bill perfectly. He's not my main character, but I... And that's probably why I never realized it. So next up, we have Master Hand and Crazy Hand. And as you can see, we have Pikachu as our ally. Oh god. Now, there's actually two reasons for Pikachu being our main ally in this game. Why am I in free fall? And he's doing that attack, which is basically impossible. Oh, where am I? And we lost Pikachu. That's great. Really wanted that. Is he? Mewtwo just let me do that. Other way. Stop throwing paint at me. Okay. Dang it. 
I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm so dead, I'm so dead. When I realized I was not waking up, I knew how dead I was right then and there. There was no coming back from that. Pikachu, why are you just standing there? He just st stood there and took all that abuse. Pikachu, you are being worthless right now. Thank you for actually doing the killing blow after I did basically all that work. Jeez. Now, as for the reference why Pikachu is our ally, Ash's Pikachu was cloned by Mewtwo in Pokemon the first movie and was mind-controlled by Drowsy in the anime episode Pikachu Revolts. And we got 7.8. I don't know if that's the best I ever did with Mewtwo. <clears throat> but considering I had three close, close calls and survived, I would consider that a win. Granted, I died twice in the Pokemon round and I died once to Master Hand and Crazy Hand. But due to the fact of how many close calls I had that, that, that time... I don't really, I can't really complain about it. I mean, I did when the, at the moment happened, but that's also heat of the moment thing and not looking back on it after the fact. So, as you can see, our um, song is actually Victory Road Pokemon Ruby slash Pokemon Sapphire, which means this is the, which means this is the Victory Road song from Pokemon Ruby and Pokemon Sapphire. Sapphire. You can clearly tell it's a it's a remixed, but it's still the song. But it's still the same song. I'm pretty sure this is remixed for when Brawl came out, considering we could hear this song in Pokemon Stadium 2 and Brawl. Also, was no, I'm. I'm thinking of something else. I was going to say it was Gen 3 the latest Pokemon generation when, when Brawl came out, but then I realized if Lucario was in the game, that wouldn't be the case. Because, Lupa because Lucario is Gen 4. I didn't know when Pokemon games started coming out until Gen 5. So I don't know these, these dates like other people do. And most of that comes with the fact that I was born in the late 90s. So most of my memory of the late 90s, early 2000s, I don't have any memory of. Because of how young I was. And also, before I forget, the new episode of the Illus Podcast is coming up today. It should be up by the time this video is uploaded, and it is a and I actually make an appearance on it as well as some of the other crewmates as we are talking about the midterms because this is around the time in college where midterms are coming up because we go in semesters, not years. So for. Our congratulations screen, we have Ivysaur, Pichu, Squirtle, and Jigglypuff all in alternate costumes, as well as Mewtwo and his Shadow Mewtwo from, from Pokémon Tournament. I've never played Pokémon Tournament before, but it looks like a game I would really love. <clears throat> so we have Charlotte Allen from Castlevania, Tap Tap from Yoshi's Island, and that's it. At least I'm pretty sure Charlotte is from Castlevania. Please don't be mean to me if that's not the case. But anyways... That is it for Mewtwo. Judging from the fact that I said 7.8 in there, I'm pretty sure that I did better. So, that was Mewtwo. Next time on Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, we will be playing Roy with his with his route, A Journey of Swords. How the hell did I get 9.8 with Roy? Whatever. We'll find that out next episode. So, until then, my miss, I'm... Until then, my name is Miss, and I will see you all next time. Take care.